last year we visited the San Diego Botanic Garden to check out their medicinal nursery as well as this garden that's on display to the general public. Now we are back to hear about what's new in their collaboration with the Salk Institute as well as their advancements towards drug discoveries. We have co-evolved with all these medicinal plants. I mean, they make these things probably pr to, to protect themselves, but also maybe because they make their mammal counterparts happy. And when it comes to this collection of plants, happy and healthy. In fact, 40% of all drugs found in modern pharmacies are extracted from plants. Dr. Todd Michael, a research professor at the Salk Institute, is ready to add to this growing list. What we specialize in is actually reading that DNA, it's sort of like having a book without any paragraphs or spaces. And we actually can read the DNA letters and determine, well, what is the plant saying? This is the holy grail of sequencing. The findings help researchers compare the pathways of these plants to extract medicinal components. This small bush has been added to the collection. Ephedra is a great model. So not only is it great for our medicinal program, but it's also really great for our basic biology. Ephedra is found in the desert and thrives in dry conditions and is related to the Tory pine. It has a history of being used in treatments including syphilis, weight loss, allergies, asthma, and headaches. We're picking local medicinal plants, so native plants, that have been used by Native American people who are asking us to work together to study them with modern scientific techniques to marry that with the traditional knowledge. The two main characters in this research are Artemisia, used to treat malaria, and this Yerba Santa, which Dr. Ben Naiman, the director of medicinal plant research, let me sample. It reminds me a little bit of like a bitter. A nice taste to it. It's, it's a good use as a bitters. I like that. And you'll find this in a lot of food products as well. Yerba Santa also has the potential to treat neurological disorders like Alzheimer's disease. This is one of our research plots. There is now a plot of Yerba Santa adjacent to the medicinal garden to increase their studies. It's about half planted out right now. Universities and research centers have sent them sample leaves, branches, and seeds to be used in this nationally recognized effort to study more medicinal plants. In San Diego, the San Diego Botanic Garden in Encinitas has partnered with California State University San Marcos, along with the Hamul Indian Village of California, a Kumeyaay Nation, Kumeyaay Community College, and other tribal nations and tribal representatives, which Ben stresses is vital. In part just because of the disparity of the communities that exist here in the urban setting and out in the reservation systems, but also because of the long history of knowledge, the cultural use, the ties to these plants and to the nature that is San Diego County. The ultimate goal is to translate the work into clinical trials and commercial products for pharmaceutical development. This is sort of a circular ecosystem, a financial ecosystem that reinforces itself, brings the community together for the benefit of everyone while actually protecting nature. And don't forget, you can tour this medicinal garden yourself, but please, no sampling. This is a sustainable process. In their research, they never take more from a plant than it is going to be able to regenerate, and neither should we. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis.